<laughs> Ambient sounds. <laughs> Ambient sounds, ambient sounds, ambient sounds, ambient sounds, it's ambient sounds, ambient, ambient, ambient sounds, ambient sounds. Uh, what are we doing here? We are. Uh, I know how to use OBS. It's fine. It's fine. I remember. It's fine. It's cool. Oh, God, there's so many things to use and do. Look. Oh, what? Yeah. No, it's me. Ooh. Okay. Uh, hmm. um, hello, everyone. Yes, it was me singing. I was singing sounds. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to line everything up because I'm I'm not I'm not cool. Um so so in my feedback from my first stream with Mike, he was like, oh, you know, people like having objects of interest. So I now have like a big fat dragon. Um that's that's what I have. Uh I don't know, maybe maybe I could make it a a prize for you to learn his name. I don't know. Uh yeah. But you've already won my hearts, so uh, hearts plural. Wait, no, okay. um, heart. Humans have one heart. Uh, you have won that, so you, in the end, you're all winners. Um, bah, bah, bah. Uh, yes. So uh, today we will be playing Rimworld. Um, uh, when uh, like going forward, I'm planning to do like I think they're called real-time strategy games but the sort of games that you play mostly on pause you know um like Rimworld uh I've got a few others lined up uh the fun thing is though with all of those like there's it's like Rusty Quill streams is mostly about introducing people to games or introducing people to like a new hobby. And so uh, doing something where you keep returning to a game might seem like it doesn't fit. But basically at say RimWorld, uh, you are still a complete noob uh, if you've got like 200 hours in it, which is like roughly what I have. Um, and a colony barely gets started by the like three, four, hour mark uh so you know it takes a while um uh, i just i'm very sleepy to get to that today folks so um you can expect a lot of words getting jumbled up and maybe like my eyes go like in there. um no particular reason i'm just you know i have chronic fatigue syndrome and sometimes i spend all day half asleep so that's where we are right now anyway um so yes uh today there will be rimworld um it will not be the same colony as last time because uh there was a big rimworld had a uh a big update and that changed a few things and also i wasn't super happy about the colony that we made first time like there are a bunch of ways that there's there's like other mods that I could add and like yeah like there was a big update and not all of the mods that I was using for that have been updated for the new update um and uh I'm so I'm gonna do another one um slightly different um but it should still have a lot of the fun stuff you know, there's dinosaurs, which I know is what you're really here for. Um, and dragons. Um, I don't know how high, I don't know how good the video quality is going to be as well, because uh, we are actually a multiple professional live stream household. Uh, you know, it, um, this, like, uh, I know that Anil and Bryn, you know, they sometimes, <laughs> they sometimes have like, uh, what's the word? 
Uh, I can do words. I'm so sleepy. Um, pipe data challenges. You know when you've got two people streaming uh, or whatever. Uh, and this house, uh, we will see how it goes. Um, where there's another live stream happening upstairs. Uh, so yes, um, that's that's who I choose to share my life with is other gamey people. Um, so yes, that's fun. Um, so uh, hopefully it will work. Let's see our new stream. Or oh, also, yes, there may be people walking in and out uh, because when you're at the point where like several rooms in your house are live stream rooms, like you just end up not being able to be like fussy about that stuff. Um, cool, I'm glad you like the necklace. I wish I could remember who made it, but it was some lovely craft person at, who I met at Nine Worlds. Um, and uh, so they were very cool. Ooh, uh, Pleasant Bot and Wonder Wameem, you've resubscribed and we think that that is great. Um, oh, six months, my word. And Pleasant Boat. Oh, what a lovely name. Like, just a boat, but making sure it's a good one and is not sinking. Um, I'm happy about all of those things. Uh, yeah, so that was one of my favourite things about Nine Worlds. And I think of a lot of those kind of events that I've been to is that kind of no matter what else is going on, uh, it is often a way to meet uh, really cool craft people um, who... Uh, like, and you can meet people face to face and uh, support what they're doing, which is like a nice thing. Um, like, that's one of the few things I've allowed myself to do, like post COVID is there's some markets around here. So like, I've gone walking for like an hour and a bit. So I'm not on public transport, but like, you know, you stay safe and then you get to the market and you buy some like handcrafted stuff. Um, which is nice because you treat yourself and you also feel like you are supporting artists in a nice way. And yeah, that is uh, it's one of my favourite self-care things. Um, it's not the cheapest self-care option, but it is like, you know, you feel like you're getting yourself something nice and you're putting something good into the world. And that's the nice thing. Um, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. I can remember how to stream. Um, yeah. Where's my sources? Where's my book? Uh, ooh, uh, da, da. Aha! There we go! Oh my word, look at that! It's a real word, it's a thing! Um, so, yeah, like, so actually, to, I was thinking about doing more streams, and, and in doing that, like, I, I took the opportunity to get and try out a few, like, strategy games uh, that... Like I've been thinking of getting for a while or some of them I had bought previously and I'd never really got around to playing. And I kind of realized that so my my problem my problem with games in a general thing, like as an art form, um, is I really don't like feeling like I'm being railroaded through something where I only get to find like the solution that has been set by another person, if you know what I mean. Um, like I, I, I'm an improviser at heart um, and I love kind of mediums and structures that are incomplete, that they, they give me a launching off point to kind of do my own fun stuff, uh, which is one of the reasons that I love improv, I love tabletop role playing, um, and, you know, I talk quite a lot about how my favourite kind of game is like a cabbage simulator with occasional cartoon violence. And that's, and that's like, that's literally it is I, I want something that will spur stories. Um, and, and like, let me, like, let me get my little heart caught up in, even if it's like little dots on screen doing um something and and that that isn't uh that isn't like limited to any one particular type of game um there's all sorts of text-based games that allow me to to feel that kind of way that allow me that to feel that kind of freedom 
I do really like puzzle games where it's just like you find the solution, you tick, you get onto the next thing. It's not pretending to be anything else. Um, yeah, yeah, so I do say cabbage simulators, like because I, I genuinely love growing plants in games. Um, and it, a lot of my favorite things, including say Minecraft and RimWorld, they get down to the level of detail where you can see how well your plants are growing. Um, that and Stardew Valley, you know, so those are kind of, those are games that uh, give you a lot of detail about the world, but they give you a lot of freedom to do whatever you want with that. Um, yeah, and so trying some strategy games, like, so I, I, I got Surviving Mars uh, to try out. I'm like, guys, I hated it. Um, like, folks, I just... I just like because you know what I think annoyed me the most is that like you you click on the little people and you can't really tell anything about them in a useful way. Um, Hermit simulator, I kind of like that. Yeah, like I just want to sit on my own um, and do nothing but like with stats. Um, yeah, so anyway, this uh, Rimworld, I think for me is still one of the best balances uh, there because it, uh, it gives you lots of like cues for stories and it allows you to kind of get caught up in those individual stories. Uh, but um, you have a lot of freedom, uh, is what I was saying. Anyway, um, I may be a bit tangential today just because, yeah, my brain is a little explodey. Okay, do we have ambient sounds? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so I will, I'll go back over, because I know why would, some of you will have been a the previous stream, but I should not rely on that as a thing. I do not demand that of you. Um, RimWorld is a story gener generator game. You are building a colony on a new planet. It is extremely open to modding. Uh, so there are lots of different ways that people play it. Uh, there's a whole load of packs that would allow you, say, for instance, to play it like you're in Warhammer 40k or like you're playing Lord of the Rings. Um, you can play it with magic. There are things that have kind of Lovecraftian horror um, tropes, uh, like with, un you know, more the unknowable monsters than any of like Lovecraft's actual pointless horribleness. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a very flexible platform uh, to make stuff and do stuff. Uh, yes, um, I run it with not many mods, really, compared to how most people do. Uh, oh, that, that actually explains quite a lot why things weren't working. Uh, oh, I do want more animals. What's going on? Uh, anyway, these are all the mods that are working. But as I said, uh, there has been a big update and not everything is working, uh, which is, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And I, I like numbers, even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't work. Um, and yeah, okay. So, oh no, it's gonna restart. What's gonna happen? Ah! <sighs> Folks, okay, um, yes, right, yes, okay, uh, I can keep a brain working, who even needs brains? Loading deaths, love those deaths. Initializing, you guys, it's the content I bring you, really, um, it's, it's beautiful stuff. What are you initializing? Why is it taking so long? Have I crashed the whole game? Probably. I have crashed it. I don't know. It's, 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 this is, this is the content. This is the content we love. Oh, Jesus. Oh, cool. It's, it's not responding now. It's not, there we are. Can you, I don't know if I can in OBS show you, but yeah, I managed to crash it. Oh, yes, we're here. Okay, we're back. We're back. Nobody saw me. Okay, cool. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, with all those lovely mods that I've got, uh, which I think are all by the mods, there they are, uh, we're going to start a new colony, we're going to 
gonna we're gonna we're gonna play some stories. We're gonna play some stories. Crash landed. Yes. Um because it is a story generating game, it has these uh, multiple options of storyteller, uh, Cassandra classic kind of ramps up the difficulty in a predictable curve. Uh, Phoebe Chillax is kind of like, uh, it just, it it's less focused on external events happening to your colony. You kind of get to build stuff without that much interference, but stuff still does happen. It's just, that's the thing and randy random is just loads of stuff happening all the time uh truly random um so sometimes it's impossible and that's fine that is sometimes a fun way to play but uh it's just not what i'm gonna do today i'm sorry i'm really struggling to get where i can see the chat and the game Oh no, 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 don't press that button. Oh, no, oh, oh dear, okay. Yeah, we're cool. Oh no, I've gotten smaller, what? No, why are you big? Arr, oh God, Mike's gonna kill me. Mike's gonna kill me. Yeah, there, there. Pretty, don't tell him. Um, cool. Yeah. Arr. Arr. We're chill. We're chill. Everyone's chill. Okay, so Cassandra, we're playing. Ah, bah, bah. No, we're... Screw you, Starlight. Yeah. On brand. Literally 100% of the time. Woo! Okay, so those of you who were here uh, last last time, last month, last week, time in depressed COVID land. Uh, doesn't really make sense, does it? Um, so the last time we'll know that the stream kind of froze at the point that it was generating the planet. So I have written down exactly where I'm going to go. Um, so you're all, <laughs> uh, you're all just going to have to bear with me um, while I generate this planet and uh, then see what. Like, don't worry, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Ooh, see, some animals explode upon death. Don't we all? Don't we all? Maybe we can drop animals when animals think about it. Right, okay, it's cool. We're going quickly so that we don't, we don't, uh, so that we don't, we don't crash or annoy people. Where are we? Uh, see, he's north. No, I want it. Where are we? Uh, that it? Where do I want to be? Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, there. Uh, there. Uh, there. That looks nice. Wee. Okay. Okay. Cool. Is I think it's. Uh, I think we're all good. Um, da, da, da. gonna load a family. Whee! Uh, they're loaded. Um, so one of the things in uh, the mods and the updates uh, that uh, I've changed is there is a mod that kind of randomizes uh, sexuality on this. Um, and so rather than like adding them all as a specific thing, like we're gonna, <laughs> so there's a, there's an algorithm that it chooses and I've set it to basically use like, it's, it's on the Kinsey scale, which like, I know that sexuality can't be put on one spectrum, but like it's, it's, this is, it's a small game. Look, they don't even have legs. They have no limbs. Like it's simplified, you know? Um, and uh oh dear what's happened has everyone paused no no people just aren't talking okay um oh dear what should i do is it is it all okay is everyone is it working i don't know um 
anyway, uh, so we've got we've got our general people. Um, this is one of our characters. Look at them, the tortured artist and bloodlust. So yeah, I think we can all understand where that comes from. Take a big sip of water. Um, yeah, nice friends. We've got we've got friends. They're related to each other. We've created a fun thing. I like it. So, uh, yeah, so we don't know if they'll all hate each other. Uh, am I finished? Am I finished? Yes. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, honestly, how this is coming across, because I'm like... That level of sleepy where uh, you can't really like gauge what's going on beyond one sentence at a time. So I'm gonna hope that you're all having fun. Uh do do do. Oh look! The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. That's not true. The first thing that you do is vomit. Cool. Aw. So yeah, instead of a triceratops, we have a capybara because we do. Don't fight me on this. Uh, gum, flak jacket. So the first thing that you do when you come to a new planet is arm yourself with guns. Apparently, I don't know. Um, it is the future. So let's see. It's psychically, what have we got? Oh no, pain. You're so straight. Also, you. This is. Oh, you are not. Okay. Well, you know, that's 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 cool. That's cool. It's randomized. Um, da, da, da. <laughs> it's a uh, hmm. chill in it. Lovely chill music. Okay, remind me who can shoot? Not you. Not you. You cannot shoot. Okay, who are gonna take a quip? Yeah. You. Guns. Yay. I assume that's what people say. I don't know. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, I know we need beds. We've just landed. <gasps> Look, they do move in herds. A lot of meat on them. What? Oh. Yeah, so I've, I've um, added uh, a bunch of bunch of animals uh prehistoric animals there's a different mod than dinosauria which just adds like a whole load of like prehistoric beasts um ooh, i want to kind of where's my wildlife tab what have we got what have we got oh oh that's useful it tells me when there are predators so yes you you look quite scary uh long boy uh, E.T. boy. E.T. E.T. face people. Okay, cool. So, we've got ourselves a river. Um, we've got ourselves a lot of swamps. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Oh, look, they're so pretty. They've got little heads. Little red heads. It's like a little heart. Oh, oh I thought it said, like, normal or fail. And I'm like, yeah, normal is fail. So there. Um, but no, it's a whole lot. Cool. Okay, so this little patch looks easy to defend. Uh, so we will sit here. We will sit here. Uh, blueprints. These things are made early. Uh, early. Uh. All right. So if we, this is where you start planning, people. Uh, I genuinely think that uh, the most 
useful life advice I ever got is from playing like The Sims 3 where you oh hell um where you need to have why what the yeah. Hey miners don't look at the booze no there's nothing no. nothing exists nothing, here nothing 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 for you to see no, here no no ah <laughs> um, anyway uh is going to say uh where was I Plants. Yes, I have lots of lovely plants. Uh, if uh, I am, oh wait, I'll, I'll point this up a little bit, oh, and just show you very quickly where the all the up oh, plants up there. Okay, now we're, we'll reset. Hey, it's me. Ah. Um. Cool. Uh, da, da. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what um, I don't know what that. Look, this is this is my dresser of delights. Uh, it has board games and booze, uh, and then around the corner we've got the cupboard of despair, which is where we have uh, DIY tools and cat litter, uh, which you know is like valid. Uh, you've got to you've got to like code name your house that's the thing when you get to live in your own place you can name everything I call this chair city mcsit face anyway so uh what are we going to do like i say i like the kind of games that are mostly played paused so uh how about we start with this uh we are going to so uh, so this is my nicely built uh, kitchen butchery kind of thing, which I build like this so that I know um, I know what I'm doing. I I know that I've got room for everything, and then I just kind of adjust to whatever actual shape. Uh, of house, house, landscape, who even knows, uh, landscape um, that I encounter. So that's going to be how they start. Then uh, we'll probably put um, more of a stockpile here. <laughs> Architect. Zone. Stopper. Yes. This is the stopper. Um, oh, what's this? A bid oh, yes, of course, there's riding. I've got that mod that lets me ride things. Yes. I had forgotten. Uh, structure. Door. I often forget doors. Who needs a door? Right. Right, right. Allow. Cool. Um, yeah, like what what you're going to be watching now is mostly me selecting tiny icons and being like, grab them. So, no, I want them to be allowed. Yes, yes. Allow. That's some classic slang. Allow it. Allow that. So, um, we're going to do some stuff, it's going to be nice, furniture, one, two, three, oh, 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 three sleeping spots, oh, 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 uh, Chemical Stairs has asked, is this a new run? Yes, this is a new run, I just didn't like the other one. Um, and also, uh, there was a new update for RimWorld, and uh, 
I like no really burn trees. What's that thing? What's that? Ooh. Chop them all down. Um, yeah, so it's a new run, uh, because I am bad at commit. Um, and yeah, there was a, there was a new update of Rim, Rimworld, which has these, uh, it's got more quests, they're more balanced. Um, so, uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel that. We don't need floors, we don't need floors. Um. We, we need walls. Walls are important. Um, we also need power. So, uh, uh, what even is life? You know, what even is? It's it's. Uh, not as high energy as it was. I'll I'll grant you that. It's uh it's not as it's not as high energy as it was. This this one. Uh, The handy things is if you can put your uh, cause, so these these are windmills they do not work if something is growing over them so a handy thing to do is to put them where they're like facing over something the stuff does not grow anyway so yeah but I don't know if I'm achieving that I don't know what I'm achieving at all it's all, it's all a mystery I don't feel like if it, this is, you know, if you want loads of life advice, this is probably not the time to ask for it. Uh... Um, yeah, we're gonna chop down wood. We're gonna Food. We're gonna make beds. All of those, I will. Ooh, I will allow that. And then, getting okay, Rimworld advice. You're not really getting very good Rimworld advice, I'll be honest. But uh, you know, it's fine. It's just, it's, it's all about staying alive, isn't it? Good lord, I am like I, yeah, I am. That's that's an achievement in itself these days, isn't it? You keep being. Um, oh look at a dinosaur. He's so purple. Look at him. He's so pretty. Oh, if I was gonna get eaten, you know, I think you'd be a good choice. Yeah, you're at least you're gonna go stylishly if if you if you get eaten by him. Oh, I don't. Oh, look. Brock, they say. Brock. Relatable content. Uh, yeah, some of you will have been following my uh, very slow chicken saga. Um, I have cleared the ground for the chickens to go in. That's how far we've gotten on that. Um, and that then means that at some point I will even maybe be able to build a chicken coop. Yeah, I've I've got I've made it all in SketchUp. Uh, it's just been quite you know tricky to do things when you can't. I don't have a car. I can't drive. Uh, getting getting things is hard. Uh, right, let's put the dumping stockpile. Where shall we put the dumping stockpile? All my ex-boyfriends. I can go there. 
slowly wobbles down. Yes, they are real life chickens. Um, they don't exist yet. Uh, it's more a case of that's been the plan for a long time. Uh, and I... I'm working on it. Essentially. Brr, no corpses. Uh, yeah, that's that's where we're at. We're at the no corpses thing. Oh, you know what? I could just speed him up, couldn't I? I forgot that. Lord, he's sleeping. Feel faster, my pretties! Feel faster! Well, the important thing is that they've got a place to sleep. They've got a place to keep their food. What really more do you want? I mean, they're so demanding. Uh, this is gonna be a corridor. This. Oh, I've really messed this up. Because, really, you want your kitchen. Uh, no, 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 this is fine. I will have. Yes. Okay, sleep. Wow! Ah, fine, go to sleep then. Things. Uh, there's a nice factory size, I think. Um, we can have probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a nice factory. That's a dining room. We'll call it a dining room. Yeah. And uh, this will be. You want to have corridors that are quite wide because that means that if you get attacked by anything, you can put a turret in there and shoot it. Very important to be able to shoot everyone. So that's the dining room. Put some, should I put some bedrooms there? I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I, yeah, who even knows? Who even knows? Uh, dining room, let's do it. Dining room and then factory. Yeah. 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 Dining room, factory. Um and then uh we can begin to put some bedrooms on. Yeah. And then as we expand, we'll like Oh yeah, we need to we need to make food, don't we? I, I forget quite basic things. Uh grow this so. Ten by let's do ten by five. This one will be rice. And Skills, skills, plants. Okay, five. Can't remember anything. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't even done this stuff. Okay, so you've got to... Right, okay. One of the most important things in life, you know, once you've built a colony on a crashed planet, uh, set your priorities to manual, you know? Uh, if you want to, uh, you know, just general advice. If you're on fire, uh, it's quite important to put it out. You know, I don't want to tell you how to live your life, but that's one of my key uh, priorities. Uh, it's ten. Oh, um, doctoring. Doctor, doctoring. You know, if you are sick, uh, especially if you're if you're uh, if you have a life-threatening medical condition, probably probably good to allow people to help you with that. As, again, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to railroad you, but in my experience, uh, if you uh, are bleeding out, uh, probably allow a doctor to see you. Um, bed rest is kind of important, I suppose. Um, da -da, falling, falling, falling. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Cooking. Yes, we like cooking. Growing. Will not do. Useful. Do grow. Do grow things. Ah, oh, uh, yeah. Construct. Ooh, uh, 
that's important. If if something needs building, probably build it. That's another another bit of bit of wisdom for you there. Uh, it's you know I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you how to do it, but uh, just if if I've I've found power tools, it's useful to have a working familiar with Famili familiarity with them. Uh, ba -ba -ba, we want wooden. So you, you are. I allowed myself to get someone that doesn't do labor. What the what? What? Okay. Well, you just. Uh, it's very annoying. Um. Okay. Well, I suppose uh, what you're gonna have to do is everything else. Uh. Yeah. So you're gonna have to construct things, and I'm gonna make you mine and. Mm. So annoying. Okay. Ah. Cool. Okay. Stuck a door. Door. Ah. You know that's is cool. The other thing that I like to do is, is, you know, is make doors before I even have walls. Just. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Sometimes you just gotta build a door. Um, you know. I mean, yeah, like it's, it's just like, like. Don't let anyone tell you how to be. Uh, unless, as stated earlier, you have a life threatening health condition and uh, you're about to bleed out, and then someone's supposed to sit down. That's probably wise. Um, doors everywhere. <laughs> Again, like I, I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, yeah. Being on fire, I think, is is generally something people don't want to be. Uh, long term. But again, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to tell you how to do it. Oh yes, we do need thunder. Oh, shoes in. Oh. We will need to research batteries super fast. <gasps> yeah, only be on fire short term is my my main advice to you uh, at this point. I don't I don't know bike on chicken. <laughs> this this these walls are made out of insect bodies. Um, I don't even know what to do with that information. Uh, not think about it. I'm gonna not think about it. Bygone chitches. The ancient, ancient chitching. Gross. What's wrong with you then? Why, why are you on? Oh yeah, I mean, to be fair. What? <laughs> okay, so like, right, so they're all sad understandably um but like this soaking wet understandable that's quite sad eight without a table classic rim world thing oh no it's so hard not to have a table slept on the ground again i understand this but rebuffed by pain like firstly this is pain pain looks like i mean their name is pain and uh they she um I mean, she look hella goth, and like, she's got bloodlust. Uh, but yeah, interesting, interesting. It's like it also okay. So we are we're talking straight, and and you're a male. Okay, cool. So you you're at least technically, according to the maths of sexuality as interpreted by Rimworld, in with technically possibly a chance, um, like mechanically, but like too. Yeah. Rebuffed by cough. So wait, so you 
Payne asked Koth out, and then Koth was had to rebuff Koth. Why? Someone I don't like. Okay, so you don't like him because he turned you down. So you turned him down. I just. I mean, she is 22. He is 20. It's the kind of thing a 20 year old is doing. It's fine. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Yeah. Why, why are you not? I would like to reassign. Okay, okay. So these, uh, these. Owner, nobody. Okay, I'm gonna set set owner. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we've got that's pain. And this one. Mush. This one. Okay, that's cop. So every everyone does actually have a bit. You sort of left it out. That's that's good. I just. Uh. They're they're just. Okay, so we, we've got... Alright, I'm gonna give them a table soon, because otherwise they'll revolt. Ooh, look, that's so big. Oh no! Minor break risk. Okay, they're, they're all cheered up quite a lot. You know what I can Oh look that look at them they're all playing horseshoes together. Oh how nice is that? Cheering themselves up. Mm. You gotta do what you gotta do. It looks like we are out of wood. So they've just stopped doing anything because we would. please um uh, what did you all have a nice breakfast okay. important meal not necessarily the most important of the day you know that all depends on your your life your metabolism but you know i hope that you can eat a good one uh, Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, that's a, hey, that was a, a gift sub. I'm really sorry, folks. I have not been paying attention to the subs things, and that was impolite of me. So um, thank you, Tafira, um, and also to other people. I uh, have not have not been keeping my little my little like updates tab. Uh, I, don't, I wasn't keeping it at the front. Oh no! Um, I'm really sorry. Uh, that was impolite of me. That was not good Twitch culture. Um, I, yeah. Look, they've got a little table. Um, yeah, like yeah. I don't have any guest beds. I literally just crash landed, guys. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm really sorry if anyone did a sub or gave us a follow, and I missed that. Uh, that was, that was bad of me. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I know, Mike, that you've got, you've got me, but like, also, it's good. To, it's, I want to be the, I, I like to be nice. I want to be nice. I want to be good. Good, nice, well done, tardigrade jams. You have finished setting up your planner for this semester. Hooray! Good. See, I can read the stream. I can do that. Um, 
There's my dumping stockpile. Yeah. Da, da, da. And a comment about X's. Um, da, da. Oh, look. Thing. What have we got? Here, it's good. Don't worry about it. Just watching you play is fun. No! I must thank you! So there! Thank you! Um, yeah. Research is top priority. Enjoy that much. Uh, ba, 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 batteries. This is a really high priority. I would really like you folks to to like work on this. So since so it says it says it needs components. Where are the components? I should have crash landed with some components. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, people. Hmm. Ooh, there's some steel. Like I, a, a large part of this game is. Whoa! Look at that. The, the dinosaur ate the massive thing. It's terrifying. Uh, at least it wasn't us that got eaten. That is a positive. I think. I mean, a lot of you Gen Z, I, I don't understand your humour. So, uh, yeah, maybe that is not how you feel. Um, but we're going to try and find... Well, like I said, like it's a very fashionable dinosaur, so if I did need to be eaten. Yeah, right! They do have they do have very, very high standards. It's, it's kind of one of the weird things about RimWorld. Like, I... Honestly, it's the, one of the few bits of, like, RimWorld merch that I, I could be tempted by an eight without table kind of thing. I need to get myself one of those. But... You know, is niche, but since no one ever leaves the house anymore, like we can have our niche references and no one can stop us. Uh, okay, so I, the components crashed somewhere on this map and I can't find them. So, cool, 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 cool. cool. I guess we're gonna have to mine for them, which is just atrocious. This, this kind of thing. Compacting steel. There's a component. <gasps> I'm now quite scared about sending my little peeps out because, like, what happens if they get eaten by a big dino? As the kids say. I assume you say that kind of thing. Just you live, you live exciting. Deconstruct! Like literary theory! Compacted plus steel, I assume that's good. Da, da, da. Yeah, I actually, I am delighted by the fact that I have a dining table, which, you know, I'm streaming from, uh, and also is covered in power tools, um, which means that I don't actually use it for dining, but, like, it makes me feel like a grown-up. Ooh. Aww. Oh, she th there was a little love heart there. What you doing? What you what you doing? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Pain courted cough by making observation about morality. Cough did not respond. Just yeah. <laughs> hey, the nature of good and evil, huh? Walk off. I don't know what happened to the little speech bubbles. I love those. Um... Oh no, there they are. There they are. Ooh, greeted cough in passing. Mush greeted cough in passing. Oh, hi, they say. Exciting. Oh, so those, these little... A lot, they're, they're newly detailed. I don't know what are the power tools for. Um, I have been digging up oh, mad squirrel. Gonna hunt you. Actually, that's it's going to be very hard for him to come and attack me. That he is a squirrel, for starters. That that is the first reason, which. 
will put them at a disadvantage. Uh, the power tools are because I've been digging up the ground to put down uh, a nice uh, flat surface um, for the chicken coop. Uh, and in order to do that, I had to uh, dig up some very large tree roots. And in so doing, I drilled... I had a lot of fun drilling, um, basically. I, I tried to saw through them, like I dug down and whoa, and I sawed through them. Um, but then I got bored and so I just, just got this and, you know, I just hacked it to pieces. Fun. Uh, yeah. If it was responsible to have a stream called uh, Power Tools and Whiskey, then, you know, that would, that would be, that would be me. But that's not, that's not really, that's, that's not good, is it? That's not, that's not good. I shouldn't do that. Uh, uh, need defenses. Yeah, I know people. I know I need defenses. Okay. Okay, dude. Maybe you should have some sleep. Need a meal source. That's what I'm doing, folks. That's what I'm doing. No, wait. That's that's for butchery. There we go. Deconstructed. Um. Oh, you know what? No, I don't need to do that. I can. I can move it. I mean, you know, you think that all of this is uh, needing, what's the word? Uh, inconsistent? Uh, scatterbrained, that's the word. Um, you should see me in real life. Um, while I'm doing that actual job. Musical chairs with the cat, that sounds like a good game. Um oh, compliments. Um Oh, I wanna mine that, don't I? Oh, let's mine that. Okay, so we've got food coming, we've got a meal source soon. Uh, I should get I should God. Brain! Uh, um I uh, I should make this cold. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. No, that's all. Uh, temperature cooler. There. there. Uh, MJ Stuke would die for Holly the Capybara. Um, that's cool. Holly the capybara would die for you too. Uh, and... Oh, we need a name. Ah! Pain thinks you should give your faction a name. Uh, votes on the name, I guess. Uh, um, 
Yeah, something goth. I know, yes, specifically since Payne has asked, I imagine that her suggestion would be something like... Uh, Dark Skull Death Bro. Eh? I don't know. Um, hmm. Uh, uh, no, my triceratops, my robot, ah, um, uh, heart stab skull gruel. There we go. Judean people's front. Brand no. Um, heart stab skull gruel. Uh, like a capybara pun. You come up with that capybara pun. Capy. Ah, uh, Dara bun. Uh, Packy ta bun ta. No, none of those work. Uh, the, the capybaroni. I don't know if I like. Capain Barra, that's possibly. Uh, 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 oh, that's that's quite good. Gothy Barra, I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, Um, not even. Okay. Oh man, it just looks like goth bra, doesn't it? Hot step skull cool, I'm quite into though. Um, okay. Now, if you remember. Oh no! Oh, oh dear, that's, that's a priority. Could you. Could you. Could you do that? Yeah, okay, phew. That was, that was quite a, quite a, oh. Um, now if you remember last time, I let everyone nearly starve, uh, because I forgot to actually order them to make food. Right. Oof. Um, let's make some bedrooms. No, um, oh, wait, no, that does actually work. Two, three, and then the next row can go there. Yeah. Ooh, Vara is a type of. When they, yes, they do Cappy Barter. That is very good. Oh. Well, uh, that can be cancelled because we've already got a bed, don't we? Yeah, so we are going to need to think about lots of food uh, because this is, uh, we are quite high on the planet world uh, and so our growing season is not that long. Um, oh no, I'm sad. Need batteries. Yeah, I know I need batteries. I haven't researched the battery yet. Ooh. Research, research battery. But in progress. We're trying. Zit. Oh dear. Oh no, that already that's finished. Okay. It is summer. We need batteries. <sighs> How many hours do I have in Rimworld? I think under a hundred. But like, which I know is is not many when it comes to a strategy game. Maybe about a hundred. Um. Uh, I am not a pro, let's just say that. Um. Oh, 
But like, I've kept some colonies alive. I've gotten a bunch of colonies to the point where I can go on quests and like, rescue people and do it's like trade and stuff, you know, like, they're not, they're not brilliant, but I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Uh, what I'm saying is don't learn from this, like, like, just see what I'm doing and then think, oh, maybe, maybe there's a reason that she's not doing X or Y. I should, but there isn't, there isn't a reason. Um, do I plant more trees? No, no. I, because we are in a forest zone, they will grow back. So you see, I cut all these trees down, they've grown back to the forest. Um, if it was in a desert zone or something which was not set for lots and lots of forest, uh, I would be, um, I would be. So when you say a group, you mean one naked dude. Oh my gosh, look, it's Barrett! Obviously gonna, like, forgive him in some kind of beautiful, uh, heartwarming thingamabob. Yeah. No, my nemesis. No, naked Barrett is wandering through a freezing cold pine forest. <laughs> Stab him! Yeah, I probably will. Uh, he's just wandering around at the moment. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Maybe, maybe, like, we can concoct some kind of entertaining history for him. He, uh, things, you know, things have been hard since Grizzop left him in a dungeon. Uh, and somehow, dot dot dot, profit, uh, he's naked in a pine forest on RimWorld, you know? That's cool. That's that's how these things work. Uh, but yes. Let's see. So... Oh no! Pirates. One pirate. Uh, Pain's gonna stab him! Uh, and so is Mush. Pain and Mush. Pain and mush, pain and mush, da, 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 da. Shoot him! Yay! Shoot him in the bum! Shoot him! Hit him! Bang! Oh, got him in the head, ow! Bang, 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 bang! Oh! <laughs> right, uh, so the, the, these two, who already have a complex on and off dating history, um, or rather, like, are just having a chat while they shoot Barrett, the, the naked cannibal pirate, uh, from their barricade over a river. Cool. Uh, there we are. Thoroughly disgust swearing with Mush. So, what is your favourite swear word? Oh, I don't know. Shoot him, shoot him! Bang, bang. Right, oops. Oh, there we go. Uh, we could rescue him. But we probably won't. Ooh, no, he's, um, I don't think we've got enough medical skill. Should we rescue him? He's very skilled. Uh, oh, no, he's, he's, he's addicted to lots of stuff. He's bleeding out. Uh, I probably don't have enough food, so... No, I want you to actually kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh no, melee skill six required. Jeepers. This isn't, let's, let's, let's pan away. Dude, seriously, like just stand next to him and Finish him off. I just, I just. There. Oh, stand up. St this is, you know, Sasha thing. Okay, let's just. Woo! <laughs> I, we've got lots of content warnings on this. That's fine. Um. Ooh. Calm 
content warning everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I want, I want. Really, I need solar panel. Is that also something that I need to? Anyway, everyone's chill and happy now. Oh, we're all cool. We just stabbed a dude to death. Where should we put our cemetery? <laughs> I don't know. Healthy ways to deal with sad. Let's just have a nice cemetery by the riverbank. Can have a nice, a nice view. <laughs> what? No! Oh dear, this is not good. Uh, they're hunting the capybara for food. Um, oh dear. Okay, you. Uh, you are gonna have to do something inside, my man, because you are in danger. Um. Because oh. now we are being hunted by a freaking dinosaur! Oh. oh dear, oh no. Hunting my capybara. Um. Yeah, 99% base attack chance to attack when harmed. Yeah, but he's come for me. I'd really like you to shoot him. Uh, uh, uh. Oh man, this could genuinely kill the colony. Shoot the dinosaur. Not you! You can't shoot! You... you... Oh, yep, yeah, he's gonna try and shoot us. Oh, no. Yep. Right, run away. Run away! Goodness, did you hear that roar? That was not good. Oh, no, he broke the door. Right, great, 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 Run away! There's a dinosaur loose! Oh no! Dinosaur loose in the house! This is not... Shot him a lot. Ah. Help! I mean, his health is not great, but like severe. P oh dear. Marsh has been bitten. Oh dear. Ah no! Uh, okay, you rescue, rescue Marsh. I would like you to rescue the Marsh, please. Rescue Marsh. You run away over here. Oh no! Shoot him. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh, please. Rescue, rescue the. Oh dear. Um, so this has been removed. Uh,. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, yep, yep, ah, Ooh. shut the, shut the door, ah, 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 no, oh dear, uh, can you, oh no, can't walk, so 
we've now got the person that that is incapable of violence stuck in a room with a dinosaur and everyone else is dead oh my gosh you managed to kill him that's incredible like ah Koth, you're a genius you, 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 uh, you managed to yes the capybara is fine oh my gosh Koth, you did a great job you you did a great job ah ah Koth, who is who is incapable of violence uh Koth, you 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 do that and then you go to bed Koth may die of blood loss but uh well, uh, uh the the useful thing the useful thing is that uh we've got enough dinosaur meat give me some medical pain yep yeah, yep yeah. so we're, we're treating pain uh yep bitten off oh my gosh she lost her leg uh so right that's gonna be that's gonna make it difficult to do much health no leg and oh okay right cool uh bitten off tended Oof. yeah um Oof. well what's what's uh what's useful uh is that i think i've shown you what you shouldn't do um what maybe i should have done instead is uh move the capybara somewhere or maybe just give up on the capybara uh but we're we're not in a great place here uh pain doesn't have pain is also um our doctor so not exactly sure how how we're gonna give give them a new leg uh whoo! research prosthetics basic prosthetics that could take a while. Uh, ooh, 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 fun! Not really. Mush, do you have legs still? Uh, yeah, you're also dying. Okay. Right. Uh, Mush cannot walk. Uh, you, you are. I, I don't. Well, we'll see. Okay, and now cough rather than treating anyone else. Okay, okay. Death. Mush is dead. Uh, so at the moment we have one. Mush, mush has died. Uh, cough is unconscious, and uh, pain is actually like healing quite well, but only has one leg. <laughs> See, this is the fun thing where uh, Hogar is the man in black who uh, turns up if you if you if everyone's dead. Um. Hi, Hogar. Uh, Hogar's gonna try and save us. Um. Right. Cool. Right, disease, cough is sick. Oh, okay. Um Yeah. So there's a there's a there's a um there's a mechanism in Rimworld where if everyone is unconscious or dead, uh the man in black shows up. Um Cool! The man in black is the man in black is is is, is kind of by. He's optimistic, he's drug friendly, he's polite. Um you know? He's pure. I like that. He's pure. Um, <laughs> acquaintance, cough, yeah. 
cool, cool, cool. He has all his legs. Colonist died. Yep, that is sad. Oh my gosh. I... Oh my lord. I don't know... Um... I don't really know... How to... How to move on from this. Uh, look, look, we've got food. Hogar is... Uh chilling socially it seems um whew. we've got a dinosaur uh everyone's fine uh Hoka, how about you how about you clean up clean up the blood This is the content you're here for. Uh, I suppose. I don't really know. Hogar is sleeping in bed with a corpse rather than in this perfectly fine bed. He's just decided to snuggle up to, uh, to a corpse. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm not assigned to construct it. This, this is, this is going to be interesting. Uh, right, uh, right, cool. Um, no, there's, there's only one person called Hogar. Uh, this is the, the man in black who, who turned up. Uh, and he's the only dude that's actually... But, but Hogar took cough, uh, Hogar took Mushy's bed for some reason. So just Hogar went to sleep in that bed. Um, there was another bed. Ooh. Funeral plan for Mush. Yeah, that's, um, no one's going to be able to go to that, dude, because, um, because they're all, okay, so he... Literally, left leg, no, okay, so moving, 30% speed. Cool, 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 cool. Um, 40% consciousness. Uh, cool, cool. Just having a great day, aren't you? Just <laughs> gonna get out of that bed and just dig a lot of graves. Just, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hogar did not replace Mush. Um, Hogar is something where, uh, so there's a mechanism in RimWorld where if all of your colonists are dead or downed, um, the man in black turns up uh, and does stuff. Um, sometimes the, the, the man in black is randomized and it's not always a man. Um, uh, the man in black is randomized and sometimes <laughs> he'll turn up and he won't be able to do any medical stuff. Uh, so he just watches while everyone dies. Um, but yeah, so look, we've got loads of food at least. Oh no. Okay, so let's, let's. Let's turn that into a fridge so that we can store our food. Um, cool. Uh, the problem is that like pain, uh, their skills are in their skills are in plants and animals, uh, which kind of involve her moving around, which is going to be hard because she does not have a leg. Um, and, you know, it's like, respect the, respect in the grind, but I, I have not managed to research 
uh, prosthetics. And the person that's doing the research is dead. So, uh, intellectual zero, intellectual banned, not even allowed to think because he's because he was a blacksmith and they they hate research. Hogar intellectual naught. So we 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 are incapable of research. We still we don't have batteries and uh, we can't research prosthetics. Cool. Cool. Cool 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 um loving it literally banned from thinking by I assume the far reaching blacksmith school. Uh I just I I just oh it just I don't know guys. I don't know. Um if if you weren't watching me, I would probably quit this map. Um, but I feel the challenge uh, is going to be fun. Um, mm -hmm. So you can't get new characters. Um, yeah, no, this is the colony, right? So um, the so you need to be put in the fridge. Corpses allow other corpses. Ah, right. Whew! Oh boy! Um, my word, that was something. Uh, cool. I, how about I restart and explain, well not restart this game, but how about I explain what this game is. So this is RimWorld. It is a colony builder. Um, oh dear. Um, you create characters, you crash land, and you have to build a home and deal with threats and issues uh, and uh, allow your colony to survive and research new technologies and I eventually go on quests and grow your colony and uh, save people. Um, I'm not achieving any of those things uh, because uh, I came off worse in a fight with a big dinosaur, uh, this dinosaur, who, uh, you know, problem for me. That, that did cause a problem for me. Um, attending a funeral. Yes, we are funeraling. Um, I would like someone to bury the dude. Uh, yeah, so so it's, as you can see, uh, relatively low graphics, but like high complexity in that like, you can see all the different ways that this potato plant is uh, growing. Um, like it's not very happy because uh, it is 6 a.m. and it's cold, so it's not growing very fast. So, you know, you're dealing with a kind of level of simulator where your potatoes have moods and Rimworld is mostly known for uh, being extremely moddable. So as you may have noticed, I've added dinosaurs, um, but most of the mods that I've got going on are like functional things that allow you to uh, like just tell people what to do like defensive positions means that I could uh, set places for people to stand when there's emergencies and things like that but I have not done that because I have been struggling um so we had a pet capybara and a dinosaur attacked it so then we attacked the dinosaur and then um he ate we killed one of our colonists and he bit the leg off uh another one and so yeah so okay so so cool so the the funeral is happening in the middle of a river at at 7 a.m man in black a mysterious man in black has arrived will he be able to set things right no death mush has died 
Oh dear. He died. Cough is cool. He developed immunity. Pain planned a funeral for Mush, but Pain is asleep. So Pain slept through the funeral that she planned. Oh no, Pain has woken up. Just came to the funeral, ate a snack, and then, um, chilled, I guess. Hogar, could you please all the dinosaur? Thank you. Construction botched. Folks, this is not going well. I'll be honest, this is, um, this is not going well. Um, I, I actually, I, yeah, I've got to say, I've got to say that the dinosaur, the dinosaur did, did kill, did, did obey retrograde tropes. Um, I can only apologize for that dinosaur. <laughs> I... Sorry. Um Yeah, cool. Um You can probably make it to power with wood generators. Um yeah, I could. I think um let's see. Naught. Not. Uh, I could do with wood generators, um, but that doesn't help me get prosthetics for pain. Um, uh, can you research pain? Cool. Okay, that's that's nice. That's completely pointless for me. Um Cool. Okay. There's so much blood everywhere. Uh could you Yeah. Minor break I'm I'm surprised it's minor, frankly. Um How's, how are you doing? How's, how's, researching is not going to go well for you, but I do really, really want batteries. 188. See, usually that would be going up, but no. What? And the dinosaur's rotten? But this is, this is a fridge. It's in a fridge. It's a fridge. It's, what? It's a fridge. Ah. Oh. So now we can't even eat the dinosaur. Um, I gang, this is this is this is not my best rim world. Uh, rim world experience. I'll be honest. Uh, we um <laughs> so that uh, no nope, that storage okay da, da, da. where's where's allow rotten so many animals you can be really specific there we are. Um. Um. Cool. Okay. No, I'm so I'm still just a little bit shocked by how badly everything is doing. Everything's going. How about we just we? How about we start afresh by cleaning up the blood? 
Let's, let's let's do that. Let's let's start by cleaning up blood, relaxing socially in a bloodied cave. Um, what I love is that a couple of people kind of came in and they're like, I have no idea what's going on in this game, and it's like, well, clearly neither do I. Um, so you know, we're learning together. That's that's cool, right? Um, I don't know. Whew. Right. Okay, so what we need... Let's, let's look at it. Okay, so we've got, we got a lot of wood coming. How can I, how can I fix this? Lord knows. How about... Well, you'll never clean. Cough is sad. Oh yes, perfect time for a sneaky merch link. I should I should be doing all sorts of stuff. Um, welcome to Rusty Quill uh, streams, in which I fail at games for your entertainment. Uh, honestly, I I do actually know how to play RimWorld. I'm just hiding it. Um, it's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, reinstall. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, it's a really fun game, so long as you don't attack gigantic carnivorous dinosaurs uh, in the early stages. Uh, also, it turned out that that dinosaur could open doors, which I think is deeply unfair. Uh, Pain, how are you doing? How is this research going for you? They have managed very little research, so two, four, five, they're getting somewhere. Minor break risk. Cough. I'm sorry that things are bad for you. Um, because your friend died. You're sweaty. Uh, yeah, all of those things are bad. Pain, death, sweat. But, you know. Ooh. Um, we have a reasonable amount of food, we may survive this, who even knows? Da, 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 six, six, uh, uh, bed rest, all is important, constructing, deconstructing. <sighs> I just, ah, we may survive. I really need those batteries. I really need those batteries. Um, often in RimWorld you get a quest pretty quickly, which like has some people, like someone turn up who's fleeing pirates or something, and uh, that's very useful. For uh, oh, so that's why it rotted because. Because that's, yeah, I can see that. Because my cooler is not, uh, well, because, because there is no, there is no power, because I have no batteries. Okay, whoever the genius was that said that I should just uh, give up and use a generator. Okay, you win. You win. You are correct. Gonna do something stupid and put a wood fire generator 
in a wooden box. Just, I feel so bad for all these little people, you know? They, I, I did bad by them. I did bad by them. Um, I'm so sorry. It's, it's, uh, it's all upsettingly rusty quillish, isn't it? It's like everyone's just like, oh, they were having fun, they were flirting, and then someone's died. Um, yeah, we're consistent. At least most of them are still alive. That's how I hope. Uh, you know what I bet is going to happen? I bet. Yep, yep, he's going to build it. And, oh, no, no, they, they have actually managed to build, build the wood fire generator. Nope, they didn't. They failed. They failed again. Okay. Just, yep, just. Come on, you can do this. You, you. Yep, I believe in you. Yep, come on, come on. It's quite important, guys. Please. No. No, you're not gonna do that for me. You're not gonna do that for me. Uh, research. Still not going great. Okay, we are. Up to this is about the halfway point. So I'm woo electricity. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get a coffee. I think and recover from this stress. Two colonists idle. Go sod yourselves, colonists. You've got a lot of things to be doing. Uh, install that here. Install that. Ah, ah, there. Ah, 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 there. Ah, uh, cool. Right. Okay, go on, go on. We're gonna. thing. Plant pot. There. And then floors. Wood floor. It's very flammable. Oh my gosh, this place is such a fire risk. Okay, cool. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do so this is paused. What do I do? Okay, I've got my OBS thing. I've got my comfort break. It's all lined up. I'm gonna go re-coffee myself. I would, I would just leave you with Boethius, um, but uh, I don't know, I don't know if that's, if that's allowed. There. Da, da, da. Ah. Ah. It's a me. Uh, Oh, what's this? So what have you been chatting about? Let's catch up on the chat. Oh, what's on the agenda for today on War Crime Simulator? Uh, right, okay, so, so, so. Um, I have feels about this. Uh, so people, RimWorld often gets like a lot of flack for people acting super evil on it. Um, like, so it, it does, it does allow you to do evil stuff, but it, it actively like penalizes you for doing that so your colonists will get super sad if you commit war crimes like they do not want to wear human leather uh they get really sad when you murder people um unless those people have just been trying to murder them so like if raiders come and they were shooting you you can shoot back but like if you have a prisoner or something and you execute them they get really angry at you um they do if you sell a prisoner as a slave which is a thing that you are technically mechanically able to do like your colonists will be super depressed for a long time um so 
I think one of the things about it that's that's interesting is that it, it actively makes it harder to be evil, but like a lot of the memes that get made about it are about being evil. Um, there was like, uh, th there's often threads on the subreddit where people will sort of say, you know, too afraid to ask, are you all actually as evil as this? Um, like, because I just, I'm quite nice to my colonists. And then like the vast majority of people will comment saying, no, I try and make my colony as nice and happy as possible. Um, it makes me really kind of sad to see people living a kind of like living their warlord fantasies. Um, so yeah, it does, it does kind of allow you to do bad things. Um, and we could unpack that for a long time, but it also allows you to do quite nice things. Uh, I do kind of wish that they fleshed out some of the like mechanics of being a lovely person more, I guess. Um, but things like the royalty simul uh, uh, downloadable content and a lot of the mods kind of add a lot of like psychology and interaction content, which kind of means that you can do a bit more of your kind of, you know, uh, <laughs> like next on Big Brother Rim Planet uh, kind of game where everyone's hooking up and being silly but then you know if you are attacked by a dinosaur sometimes you know you kind of have to do scary things um but yeah like i like i get you don't necessarily blame blame the game for for people for people like using it to be evil but it's just, it does it doesn't it does allow you to do those things uh but it also gives them like realistic psychological debuffs for a long time it's like you know it's as if you're playing call of duty or something and you're you have to deal with the fact that every time that you shoot people uh you then go through an existential crisis and like need to get trauma therapy um, or, as some of the Rimworld colonists do, develop an addiction to cope with your psychological debuffs. So, you know, it's, it is, <sighs> you know, it, it has a level of uh, balance like that, that a lot of games do not. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of like, there's so many games where you can play like like an absolute dick, but who wants to, you know, like, I, like most millennials, my big dream in life is to live with friends and, like, look after people and animals and, uh, do something good in the world, but probably in a relatively small and contained way, because I've learned not to dream too big, um, and, I play that way in games as well, even though I technically could, like, do horrible things with no consequences, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting to psychologically unpack that in the, you know, maybe we've all got a bit of a hero narrative for good or ill. You know, um, one of my one of my friends uh, is a games writer. Um, she uh, she wrote a game called Eighty Days, um, which uh, if you haven't played, I really recommend. Uh, it won a lot of awards. Um, one of the big things about it is that uh, she like unpacks that idea of a hero protagonist who is the center of the story, right? Like one of the things you do when you go through the 80 days uh, game is that you glance off the edge of other stories. Like other people are doing much more important things. You know, they're leading a revolution or they're like trying to save their city or whatever. And you as like, 
whatever his name is, Victorian gentleman, and then uh, you play as Parsipote, Parsipote? I can't remember how you say his name, like, but his valet. Like, you just go through and you're just, you're just like these weirdo adventurers. You're not doing anything that important, right? You're winning a bet. Um, people, not everyone trusts you and not everything is, like, you don't get to hear the end of all the stories because you're not the only person in the world. Um, so I think that's a super valid uh, perspective on how even a... Oh, hello. Are hello. you, you going to say hello to people? Hello. Uh... <laughs> Do you want to wave? Don't, don't... Yeah, it's on a delay. So look, look, there's a... Yeah, no way. Ah, look, you're showing an arm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I've I've got a. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. You leaving? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's bye. It. Bye. Bye. Cool. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry about him. Um. Yes. Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah. That was boyfriend. He's. Uh, around um he's yeah no he's not a housemate he's just in um you know for covid reasons um he is not always here uh but yeah um anyway no some yeah like that's i think something super interesting about yeah you can't even even being the good guy, and I'm going to say good guy because it is almost always either a male or male coded kind of thing. Like, oh, I want to be the good guy and a protagonist. Even that isn't always a super healthy, in fact, I would argue it is almost never a healthy kind of approach. And like, because you're centering yourself and <sighs> I don't know, maybe this is this is less of a game stream and this is more of a lid thinks stream. Um, I don't know if that's the content that you're here for, but uh, yeah, I think that if you think of yourself as the good protagonist in a story, in the story of your life, then you're really at risk of like doubling down when you mess things up. Uh, like I, I think a lot of people who are doing kind of a lot of people who seem like they were super lefty and then something went wrong and now they're like spouting transphobic nonsense or they are like not keeping up with uh, like checking themselves uh, and they're doubling down on supporting abusers and things like that. It's, a lot of people think that their perspective is the most important thing or like they think that they're the good person in the narrative. So if someone calls them out, it's really hard for them to kind of say, oh yeah, sorry, I was wrong. I need to, I need to consider your perspective. I messed up, I did harm, whatever. Um, because they meant to do the good thing, right? So they like, I, I see a lot of that where people kind of keep doubling down and doubling down on super harmful behaviors because they can't understand that actually they don't get to be the hero this time. Um, and yeah. Anyway, yeah, JK Rowling, like absolutely. Um, right? I think there's a lot of things like that where people genuinely think that they are doing the right thing because they still see themselves as being on some kind of like personal quest and their the way they envisage their narrative arc doesn't include them making a major mistake and doing harm and just needing to apologize and rectify that harm you know um yeah that's that's kind of it um Exactly. Niblick's kind of got it like, I'm a good person, so the people who disagree with me must be bad people. Um, yeah, right? Like, I, I almost feel really quite grateful that um, 
and my family is really religious and I'm not, right? But we got to a point where we respect each other and we just, but, but like, sometimes they're just always gonna believe different things than me. And that doesn't actually necessarily mean that either of us is wrong. They've just got a really different idea of what is important. And sometimes what they say makes me sad, but um, often actually their perspective is totally valid. Um, it's just that I wouldn't do things that way. Uh, so, oh, this is totally going to catch fire, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Being good is something that you aim to do, right? If everyone messes up. Um, Spidge! Cool! Uh, yay! I didn't even need to fight a pirate. The game is taking pity on me. Um, yay! Look at that! And Smidge is an intellectual. Smidge, who is just my fave. Um, what are you doing? Ma'am! I really... I told the algorithm to make everyone buy and everyone's just a bit queer. Like not not even, you know. Smidge is about as bi as I am. I know it's translating to me. What is this even? Straight. Um Yeah. Please do not clip that, because it could definitely be cut in a way that's bad. Um Oh uh, yeah, right, like, um, I, yeah, I have a lot of sympathy for some of you are saying kind of, you know, your parents have different perspectives that aren't as easy to like, yeah, some perspectives are just harmful, right? Full stop, underscore, like, uh, but there's, there are some where it is totally valid to have a different perspective, like, uh, yeah, you know, Etta Rose is kind of saying, yeah, like, it's, you can, you can genuinely want what's best for the world. Um, and sometimes there's a lot to learn from other perspectives. I think is the thing that the thing that really discourages me about the future and about like the left at the moment is that it's it's really hard to build any kind of like, unity and solidarity when uh, when we're struggling so hard to work out what's like uh, when when we're demanding a kind of purity that no one has right like there's definitely there's definitely reasons to call people out absolutely i don't want to say that there aren't um, it's just it's just sometimes sometimes people are trying to do their best and they didn't get it right and you need to give them space to learn and it's super, super hard. And anyway, all of these views are mine, not those of Rusty Quill. Uh, I should absolutely underline. Um, I just, yeah. Trying to make the world a better place is a lifelong project. Don't get eaten by dinosaurs. That is a good start. Uh, like genuinely. It, it really messes up your schedule, getting eaten by dinosaurs. Um, yeah, and I should absolutely uh, say that all of these are my views, not our cues. Um, they are all very clever people in their own right and may differ. Um, I should probably, yeah, more than a lifelong project. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was just... Uh, rereading some Terry Pratchett recently and there's just this lovely line um in The Thief of Time uh where where one of the auditors says like being human is very difficult and takes more than and must take more than one lifetime to get right <laughs> and all the humans are like <sighs> and it's like oh Pratchett 
Um, yeah. What was this? Uh, Non-binary star system. Excellent name, by the way. Excellent name. Um, it's it's super hard. Like conspiracy theory stuff is is super hard because right now with the world as chaotic as it is you can absolutely see why people want to gain a bunch of control by like saying oh well, this fits with that and <sighs> i'm sorry you have all of my empathy you know it's it's super hard um i think sometimes uh <sighs> the the thing to remember is that you know people aren't they're not trying to hurt you they're often acting out of pain. I don't know. Like, people want some certainty and control in the world. It's super hard. Ah. Anyway, let's try and save this colony. And that is, like, that. that is super hard. Um... I know there's a lot, especially with autoimmune conditions. Um, I've got friends where this is similarly, similarly kind of come up, um, where because it's the sort of thing like, have you seen the? You might you might really enjoy it. The the meme that's going around everywhere at the moment, where it's uh, the kind of like hand up uh, out of the water and sort of doctor reaching over and just said and rather than grabbing the hand is like high five your lab results are normal and then they sink away and it's like oof big mood like oof oof um yeah. it make me angry because it's so true um and yeah like autoimmune stuff is so hard because it's so hard to find a pattern it's so hard to like so hard to like prove anything like I really, I really get it. I'm super sorry. Um, uh... <sighs> oh, tardigrade gems! I'm so sorry. I hope you're in a much better place now. This is not good. Um, yeah, super hugs super hugs the um the i don't know man i i assumed that some uh like that this no storage space i would like i wanted to go here because they allow rotten right oh and then Oh no, allow corpses, but not fresh corpses. Uh, da, da, da. Well, there you go. There's your... There's your... Uh, but do not allow fresh. Only rotten. There we go. That's the, I don't know, catchphrase for the day? Like, hugs for those that want it and only allow rotten corpses? Uh, I don't know. Um, that's for everyone. I, yeah, I, I probably should have warned, like, the Rusty Quill gang that, like, I, I'm on a big thoughts kick, so this was gonna get sad. Um, so, I uh, hope, uh, big, big hugs for everyone. I would say that, uh, if you need them, uh, meds can be life-changing. Um, and other times... The really sad thing is that, uh, like, I just sometimes wish that I could prescribe people an easier life, you know? Like, because sometimes people are sad for freaking logical reasons. Um, like, the reason, the reason, uh, you know, that we have a massive anxiety upswell in the whole world uh, is that things are hard and it's hard to see a future. But uh, all of you folks and this lovely community and all the people around it give me more hope than I've had for 
I don't know, like a long time. Uh, because, you know, you folks are cool and you build awesome things. And, you know, big claps and thanks to Anil for like a whole load of building that and building something that I know helps people a lot. Um, because, yeah, like this sort of community that makes itself felt. That, that helps, doesn't it? It's a bit of a light in these dark times. But yeah. Okay, everyone's got a bed now, I think. Yeah, everyone's got a bed. Okay. Yay, Tata Red Jam says that they're in a better place. Woo, you've got stories published. That is so cool. And you're on to, you are killing it. Aw. Mate, that is awesome. That is super cool. Um, I'm so happy for you. That's so cool. Oh, cheery face. Cheery smile face. Um, yeah. Like, um, yeah, I am glad that folks are getting to be in better places. Um, I have to say if it turns out that you need help i really hope that you can get it uh i realized for instance that i was like oh you know what i think this is definitely the sign that I probably need uh some help with where i was too depressed to harvest my my tomato like i spent all that time growing them and then I just let them rot on the plants because I could not get out of the house. But we're doing better now. It's cool. Awful bedroom. You've got a bedroom. It's a bedroom. You just crash landed on a new planet and you've got a bedroom. Like, guys, seriously. You've got a bedside table. Seriously, a bedside table. I mean, okay, so it is an awful table, and it's a poor bed. Okay, you've got. I I grant you, you've got a you've got an an awful table. I do kind of like that. Um, why are these people also wet? Well, it does keep raining, I guess, but and I haven't made them make any coats. <laughs> I like that Payne, so what we've got here, Payne is building a, a chair under Smidge. So like, Smidge is just sort of standing there, like leaning halfway down and then like, under which Payne is like making that chair. Ah! Yeah. Oh no, battery, yay! Okay, cool. Um, that is good. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> um, yay. The next thing that we are going to research is prosthetics, because I want. Oh no, we've got so we've got basic. We can give we can give a uh, pain a peg leg at some point. Cool. Production stone cutter table. Yay. What do we need to do? We need uh, food. We need more food. Okay, okay, okay. What? Who is good at cooking? Three, six. Hogar is our cook. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there you go. Hogar is the cook. Yeah. Oh, someone's got a fancy word. Cool. Drenched, drenched, waterlogged. Love it. Yeah, they are soaking wet. I don't know why they're all so wet. Um. So that. You know, I can hold that over. Hold that. Hold that. Hold open. Hold open. 
Okay. Right. Build. Okay, what kind of stone do we have? What kind of stone do we have? What kind of stone? Can't believe they let the dinosaur rot. Okay, granite, marble. Nice. Granite, marble, sandstone. Any stone blocks? Can't believe that. Sounds mobile meat. I do not understand you in chat. I do not understand you, but I love you. Um, let's harvest some. Oh, there we go. So that's similar. And harvest fully grown. Oh, there's our components the whole freaking time. That's where they were. Um, and all of this. All my robot friends, all my robot friends, all my robot friends, and that is life of So what are the what are the intermittent little glowy bits? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you mean, but uh yeah, so I cannot I cannot help you. Um I can't believe that we may have pulled this back together, folks. Um gang people i cannot believe that we may have got ourselves to the point that people live it's like that doctor who thing you know this time everyone lives yay that always broke my heart like uh what should i do i should do one of those like reintroduce to rusty cool streams um, hello everyone on Rusty Quill Streams. Um, this is the streams that go with Rusty Quill. Uh, Rusty Quill is a podcast company. You probably know us through the Magnus Archives. Um, I am in Magnus Archives and Rusty Quill Gaming. Uh, and uh, they're both very fun. Um, we also do other content. Uh, Stella Firma is one. Um, we have a website that you could like check out and stuff. We have a nice Patreon. We have these nice streams. Most of the streams are about trying to play new games. Um, this, like, <laughs> I came into this being all like, oh no, the difficult thing is that we're always trying to show new games, whereas I am experienced at this. And then I managed to basically kill the colonies. So, um... Still a noob. Uh, right, cough is idle. Just get rid of the cough. Do some, do some work. Cough. Construct. Clean. I want you to do things like with craft. Yeah, there we go. Craft. Yeah. Bills. Do that. Oh, we've got 124. How do we have 124? Oh, you know what? Ah, there we go. We will make floors. <laughs> How many sandstone blocks do we have? Okay. Sandstone, yeah. Uh, so we have sandstone tiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe uh maybe some of the mods can tell me other things that I should uh, tell about stuff or things. Um, it's cool. You know, all I've done is is say, isn't life sad sometimes? But community is what makes it worth staying around for. So. 
So that's that's what I've that's what I've done. But mostly Rusty Quill is about uh, spooky content and fun fiction. Lots of things. Uh, ba -ba. Um, I would say that with a lot of games like this, uh, they are quite intimidating at first. Um, you just have to like go in assuming that you will die quite a lot. Um, like I um, and and kind of to be okay with that, it's almost it's almost useful uh to as a psychological thing you know to kind of go in and say you know what i'm just i'm just gonna try something out uh and i am allowed to mess it up for me that's quite radical um oh no well oh no i was gonna say well they've got clothes this time but they do not uh mal cow <sighs> You like rain. Wow. That that actually sounds like a really valuable trait to have. I like that. Okay. Um well this guy I wish I had a prison because unfortunately I do not. So uh if if uh gets killed then I yeah. Research yes, we need a research project. For tree sewing or beer smithing. Smithing? Smithing probably useful. Mm. That shall be researched today! Ooh, solar panel. Very important. I. After that, we'll probably look into hydroponics because we are. We do not have a year round growing season here, so. We need to be able to grow stuff indoors. What? Oh no, I forgot the raid. Ah, cough. No, oh gosh, no. Pain doesn't have a gun. Smidge, do you have a gun? Oh guys, this should be the only one with a gun. Oh man. Oof. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. How did I. Where are you? You're a long way away. Right, you could shoot if I could find a gun. Smidge, no! Please, cough, please, do not die. No, cough. I just... Uh. No! Uh. Okay. Uh. Him dead. I'm done now. Cool. Okay. okay. Come out. Okay. Shoot that guy. Shoot him. Bang, bang. Shoot. 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 Shoot with your gun. Shoot him. Bang. Yeah. Oh, no. That was. Nope. Nope. How? How? Okay, stab him with your gun. That's that's cool, that's what we can do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How how am I so bad at this? Okay, okay, look, look, you Left ear bruise human fist. I just Yes, so I, I am playing RimWorld, a planetary survival simulator, a colony builder, uh, a, a story generator, uh, and mostly I am I'm not doing very well at it, I think is, is the kindest way to describe what's going on here. Um, fire it. Smidge. Cough, you can't even do anything. Shoot him! Shoot him in the head! Shoot him! 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 Shoot him!
Shoot him. Shoot him more. Thank you. Goodness me. Right. Yep. <laughs> Folks, I'm I'm not I'm not doing a great job here. My job is to look after these people and I fail. You go to sleep, okay. Pain, we're gonna treat everyone. I just, that, that was not a hard challenge and yet I managed to mess it up. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hogar, are you gonna, okay, you seem to have been, you're not bleeding out, and that's, 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 I suppose, a win, as things go. Let's, everyone sleep, and then, no, 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 I just, He did. Uh, okay, cool. But uh, yes, that's that's what we're doing today. We are failing at RimWorld. But that's fine. It's okay to be bad at some things. But, uh, that's my philosophy. Uh, it's useful. It's useful to sometimes have things that you're allowed to fail at. It's, you know. If I mess up at my day job, then, you know, it's scary. But at RimWorld, I am allowed to be bad. So that's cool. It's good to be allowed to be bad. Yeah. I say so. More philosophy with lid. Look, just everyone's just recovering because I'm so bad at this that most people are dying. <laughs> Bang. Right, low food. Cool. So I'm gonna select cinnamon. Let's grab us some berry bushes. No, I wanna harvest them. I don't understand. Why would you? Okay, let's 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 figure this out. Let's figure this out. Figure this out. Berry bush. Select some of that. Lots of berries coming. I know that Payne's cheering himself up by, uh, I mean, that's, that is super goth, I guess. Is uh, just being like, yeah, I'm just going to stand by this corpse and play horseshoes. Yeah, I don't know. What's going on? You're resting. You're resting. You are cutting stone blocks. I would like you to bury this dude. Because he did. He did. Cool. Um, or oh, let's do the reset thing. Uh yes, this is Rimworld. This is Rusty Quill Streams. Uh Rusty Quill Streams is the streams that come from the Rusty Quill Podcast Company. As a podcast company, we make podcasts mostly, but also other things. Um Rusty Quill Streams is mostly about showing people new ways about new games, um, new things. Uh, have the fun, do the nice play thing, 
Um, but uh, also we do longer running stuff. Uh, this is me kind of experimenting in can I do a longer term thing playing this colony. Uh, I have already managed to mess this colony right up. Um, but that's fine. You know, we, we forgive ourselves. That's, that's a valuable lesson. Um, so yeah, that's, that's fun. Um, everyone's gonna be busy. What's that? That is marble blocks. Starvation? Who's starving? What? Cool. Okay. No. What? Cool. What, do we not have any food? We've literally run out of food. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ready to harvest. Okay. No, I want, I want to... Okay. This is important. I really need you to get up uh, and like, I don't know. Folks, I have not done great at this. Everyone is starving. Um... <sighs> it's cool. It's cool. I mean, my function in, in this is to be here in the background while you folks chill out, right? That's that's the important thing. You folks chill, um, and uh, and then oh gosh, smidge is just bleeding everywhere. Um, oh god. We've got literally one meal. Ooh. Two meals. Um, yeah, you know, that's that's what we're doing. We are facilitating chill. And that in itself is an honor and a privilege. Uh you know. Ooh, collection of supplies. That would be useful, wouldn't it? Supplies. Um <laughs> see if I hadn't messed up so much, um this would be a really nice easy quest uh but we are struggling to survive so surviving will be a priority um but yeah like i have to say my favorite thing about uh my experience with the rusty quill kind of company is they really taught me the value of like fan communities because I never really got into it as a kid for like lots of reasons um I think partly because like I went on a lot of Terry Pratchett forums when I was like 11 12 and then like I met someone off the internet and it was like and you know this is the early days of the internet because like I'm old um and so it was just and then it was like oh no you shouldn't have done that so I was a bit like ah um not that anything bad happened, I was just like, maybe you shouldn't go when you're 12 years old to meet people off the internet. Um, so yeah, uh, then I had to kind of learn how cool and useful and lovely and wonderful fan communities are. And it, it is something that has like taught me stuff and I like that. It's good. I... Da, da, da. So, they will prepare for a while. Okay, it's one person. So, just... Ooh, what's that? Look! It's a bug friend! It's a bug friend! Look, it's a strappy, strappy bug friend! Um... Hogar's got a gun. You do not pain. You know what? How about you pick up the gun? Cool. 
Uh, see that tree is just like grown instantly. Um, people, people, seriously, please make some food. We are starving here. Um, and cough. Where? Are you, what? Are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Gathering limestone blocks. Okay, that I'll allow. That I will allow. But not much more because we've got. Oh, what's that? Ooh. Ooh. Bug. This, this person is possibly coming to attack us. No, still waiting around. Still waiting around. Oh. They're beginning their assault. Okay, cool. We're gonna, we're gonna wait until a salty person is nearish. Yep, then we're gonna. Yeah. And now, Bogart, you. You are healed, mostly. So. Shooty shoot 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 shooty shoot shooty shoot 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 bang him bang him in the yeah shoot him shoot him I'm all like oh yeah I love games with stories and stuff and it's like no shooty shoot bang bang that's the thing oh man why why are you gonna green thing you need your your friend Mush died oh that's no that's that's why are, you, why are you so... Oh yeah, you are just sad. Hmm? Fair. We oh yes, witness death with blood rust. You, you do really like killing. I forgot that. Cool. I like the idea that... So Payne's, Payne's uh, background, if we see, uh, they're a, an artist with blood rust. I just like the idea that I, they got asked to work for exposure one too many times. Oh, um, oh god, what's your bio? You were an apocalypse survivor and then a herbalist. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's cool. So you've come out with gourmand. You love food, but you also shout at people. So you're like, ah, these chips are crap. Blah, I'll shoot you. Um, cool. Smidge, you were a shop kid. You ran, you ran a store, and then you got into doing maths, and yeah, okay, cool, so you're running a shop, and then you started working for doing calculations and stuff. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, da -da. Koth, you were a frightened child and then a blacksmith. Yep. Tracks. I can totally see the logic there. Look, everyone's alive. Everyone's alive. Most of them are in a vaguely happy mood. <sighs> I think we might have pulled it back together, folks. Might have pulled it together. Couldn't have done it without you. It's getting dark. Light. Uh. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Bury that dude. I would really like for us to make some food. important thing, but you are still resting. I understand. I understand. Poor. Oh god, please. Please cook. Please. We're literally... We're starving. We're literally starving. People are... People are starving. Ooh. Until we get like... 
10 mil. Um, I'd really like someone to collect some of the berries I told them to collect. Asking too much. Um, Ooh, look at that! Food. Food. What thing? Need warm clothes? Yep. Yep. We're gonna be in trouble when winter comes, unless we get some visitors. Ah. <sighs> okay. Bones. I mean, it's June. We're in summer. We might be able to grow cotton. Cool. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm doing this till seven. Ooh, tasty, tasty food. That's nice. Look, look, look. Look at all the people. Oh, wow. Hello. They say hello. Ah. Yeah. But it's very nice. I haven't been making much sense, so I don't know how much. So then stop listening then. I, I mean, that would be the wise thing to do. Fair enough. That would be the wise thing to do. Oh, no, look. They're all saying hello. Look, look. Oh, lots yeah. of people say hello. Hello. Yeah. It's, that's the camera, so they can't see you. Hello. <laughs> they're, they're introducing themselves. Some of them have even got like these little emojis. Look, personalized emojis. She's also wearing headphones, so I'm not ignoring you. They they, they can't can... make any sound. I can only Fair hear enough. myself through this. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm not reading either. It's been a long he's, day. He's not very online. He doesn't know how things work. Yeah, yeah. I do know how they work. I mean, that's very true. Not, very that's, well how they work. You know how, like, front-end dev work. Okay, mixed range dev. Cool, got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell him that, uh, that you called him wholesome, because that would give him ideas. Um, he's going to go buy spinach. I don't know why. I thought we were making cockle pasta. Uh, okay, what's going to happen that's going to kill us soon? You know, maybe we might survive. We might survive. Uh, da, da, da. Marble. Who wants a marble floor? In their bedroom. survive yeah i think that's that's another one i i don't know if uh yeah it's i i, I wouldn't necessarily call it a big mood it's more like medium sized mood it is a mood of some size you know it it mood oh so that's that's why we're not getting any power um Orders, cut plants. Yay, Smidge, you finally got up. Love it. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's it's a moderate mood. Love it. It's a mid mood. Everyone's awake, everyone's asleep, everybody happy. Look, he's eating at the table. Look at this, look at this mostly good, slightly impressive rec room. Yep, slightly impressive dining room. I didn't even know we had a rec room, but cool. Uh, rebuffed by pain. <laughs> everyone's trying to chat up pain, and pain is having none of it. None of it. Had to rebuff cough. 
brutal. Killed someone, very happy, but sad about the fact that they had to, like, turn someone down. Yep. <laughs> Smidge had a lengthy debate about the newest slang with Hogar. That's cool. They... <laughs> Oh, folks, folks, I know, I know, but you get through it. That's the important thing. Uh, cough is just chill. Cough is not getting deeply engaged with anyone. I kind of respect that. I kind of respect that. Whereas, like, Smidge and Hogar are, they are, they are getting into it. And the pointlessness of life. Like, you know, it's, it's like a friendship. If you know what I mean? Like, rather than a friendship, I mean, like, it's, 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 I almost, you know, we can, we can write the fluff episode where these two just, like, chill. Um, so, dangerous as this may sound, one of my, one of my favourite subreddits, um, is, uh, Tales from Rimworld, which is, so there's the Rimworld subreddit, which is mostly jokes about war crimes and then people saying, does everyone commit war crimes? Because I actually try to be nice. Um, and, uh, then there's Tales from Brick World, which is, uh, where people, oh, people kind of write the stories of their colonists. Uh, there's lots of people that write, um, lots of people draw comics of them, like, I think probably in a very sort of similar way to playing a role-playing game, you know, you, uh, you get... You want to you want to know more about these little characters, so you give them a bit of give them some fluff space, uh, which is cool. Butcher forever, just butcher forever. Um, so yeah, um, you know, not all of the tales from Rimworld are good, and not all of them are unproblematic. Uh, but the thing is, like, I, I just, I like it as a thing that exists, that people are out there just kind of really, really enjoying and getting into their little stories about their little people. And, you know, I, I respect that so much. Um, why has this made a big circle? Weird. What's that? I don't know. Oh, it's because that is holding up a big roof. So, if we look at these areas... Oh no, it's not. I don't know. It has the possibility of creating a roof. I don't even know. We're just harvesting here with it here. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, like... Hopefully, you can tell, even from my little chaotic playthrough here, that like, it's very easy to get attached to these little people um, and to kind of, you know, it's a nice story generator and that's, that's literally what it's designed to do, you know, it's, it's a platform for modding and for whatever. So I know that a lot of you are really incredible fanfic writers and writers like in a general sense and yeah, like it is a really nice little generator for stuff. Um, I would warn you that if you name the characters after people that uh, like are characters in some other kind of thing or just generally that you know in life they probably will die horribly so you know that's uh just, just fair warning for that um but maybe that's what you want you know i ain't here to judge you're gonna shoot me uh so we've got some medicine we've got uh some food we are getting there, people. We are getting there. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty happy about that. We are beginning to get there. Um, I don't think that we will give Kane a prosthetic leg yet. 
because if we mess it up, we will kill her. And she's doing kind of okay, hopping around slowly. Um, so, you, you are fine as you are. And we'll let you be. Um, yeah, like, if you want to name the characters after people that you like, uh, you know, be careful, because they will probably get eaten by a dinosaur. Even if you don't install a dinosaur mod, that's just what happens. Uh, um... Cool. So we're coming up near to seven, at which point I will be off because gotta live, you know, gotta eat that food, uh, gotta grow them plants. Um, it's a nice little colony. Everyone is just about alive, which is like a bonus, you know, just about alive. That's cool. Um, everyone's got a nice bedroom that will cheer them up. Got a nice dining room that will cheer them up. Like, yeah, let's see. Spacious interior. It's a big room! Got a decent dining room. Cool. Uh, what's it? So, yeah, everyone's, everyone's relatively healthy. Except for Hogar that keeps chatting everyone up so yep that's <laughs> hoga is trying it with everyone which i respect i respect um he he is uh yeah he is trying it he's he's asking out the straight dudes you know we all you know it's uh i i respect you know i respect it He's trying, he's trying. Um, and that's cool. I mean, you, you crash land on another planet. People people have their priorities. People have their priorities. Um, and it's cool that they're not the same as mine. Like mine would be food, uh, not getting shot, not getting eaten by a dinosaur. Um, but you can have different priorities and that is valid. Oh, everyone's getting super deep in chat. I am glad for you. I hope that I have not been too sad or big moody at you. They're just medium moods. They're all like survivable moods. Um, yes. Uh, I don't know what to do, but we're trying our best. That is the song of my people. We're trying our best. Uh, I don't know how much of this uh, you might clip and therefore just have me singing pointlessly. Um, I just, yeah, I, I love little things like this that give you, like, you can go in any kind of direction, right? Okay, so, you know, like an hour and a half ago, we were struggling to survive after a dinosaur attack and uh, right now we are like, uh, I don't know. We are. We are. That's the thing. We are. Let's let's see if before before I go, let's dig something out. So other research hydroponics that is important I don't think I will get this room done for oh look there's lots of uh lots of lots of lots of uh what's it commands i don't understand but um i 
I respect you. I don't understand why you've got an exclamation mark in my name, but I hope it makes you happy. Oh, cool. Um, da, da, da. Minor break room. I do. I play as Cell and Sasha and Melanie. Those are my things. Um, cool. So, uh, it is five to seven, and so I'm probably gonna go soon. Um, did I tell you the dragon's name? The dragon's name. He is called Boethius. Uh, because he gives a lot of consolation. Um, which, you know, uh, so that is cool. Um, I hope that you've all had, if not a fun time, then, like, a survivable time. No, a fun time. I hope you've had a fun time. Um, I am, you know, happy and honoured to know you all. It's very lovely to get to meet such lovely people. Um, and to ramble in front of them, you know? Yes, like the philosopher. Uh, I... I mean, you know, there's there's a lot of opinions about philosophers of all kinds. Um, I liked a couple of the things in Constellation of Philosophy when I read it the first time. Not all of it, some of it. And I remember, is Constellation. That's basically the pun. Pun, joke, comment, anyway. He, he is fluffy and therefore he gives Constellation. Um, that's cool. Billium, I like both. Uh, yes, so let's, we can plan to put batteries there because otherwise I will forget. Um, yes, so four minutes time. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna head. Uh, I hope that you all have a lovely time. Uh, you should check out Annal's stream uh because he knows a bit more about what he's doing so that will probably work smoother and be bouncier um i will probably be doing more of these in future although who knows when um try and make it a regular thing uh playing different kind of strategy games seeing things from that kind of perspective like not necessarily what are the most bouncy action filled games but like what are the ones that kind of make you feel like there's a interesting story mechanic. Like, uh, might try things like Surviving Mars or like uh, Frostpunk, I hear that's good. Or, um, yeah, things like that. Uh, big fan of Stardew Valley, but I know that can be quite slow. Just, you know, giving people weird presents and then making them your wife. That's kind of what that thing is. Um, I hope that you all have a lovely day, that you drink water, take your meds, uh, and get to sleep on time. You know, that's that's the main thing you can ask for in life. Uh, and yeah, listen to more podcasts. That's that's the thing to do. Um, cool. I will give you the finale, which... Uh, ba -ba -ba, look at that! Look at all the people. All these lovely, lovely people. All lovely people who are my friends and made me very happy. Uh, like you, like you people, my friends. Um, have a great day. And I will try and find the stop streaming button. I oh, why am I waving my hands? You can't see me anymore. Wait, 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 wait,